Hi guys, this is Carlos with MTS Landscape. Um, on today's video, I want to show you guys how we do our concrete mow strip, um, the materials needed, equipment needed, and how we get it done. So, if you guys haven't subscribed, please consider to do so, and I'll, let's go take a look. All right. So, as far as material goes, what you need is Portland cement. You need sand and not just any sand it has to be mason sand because it does have a little bit more uh, grit to it some of the other ones are a little too thin um, and that's not going to work out so all we do is mix it in and the consistency you want you want to be able to get a ball in your hand and have it uh, stay a ball you don't want it falling apart or anything like that um, and then what we're going to do is put it into the little bubble and we'll show you how we do that. Okay, so tools we're gonna need to set the most strip is gonna be the little bubble, this trowel that actually matches the discharge sheet here. So we're gonna pour the concrete in there, then come out there, and then we're gonna finish it with this guy. So let's go through the process. This is the area that we're gonna do. So while the guys are mixing up uh, another batch, we need two more wheelbarrows. Um, I'm gonna start working the inside line and start working what we have on this back side. So first thing we need to do is get our trail. And you see that it's bumpy and all that. Right now it just kind of feels like um, wet sand, like if you're at the beach. So what you wanna do is get your trowel in, tamp it down, Put some of this that falls over right on top. And just work it back and forth. And then you have this little radius here, so you gotta make sure that I cut it in. And then the same thing, cut back and forth. So obviously you can see the border doesn't have, it's not very strong yet. It is sand and Portland cement um, and it does take, have time to cure and it does need time to cure. So that's an uh, opportunity for us to work it in. We can go back and forth, start removing some of this excess material because that will harden up and you don't want that. Okay, so right now I want to get this radius in and get this a little smoother. Right now I just hit it kind of rough and I just want to pour a little bit of water just to get it nice and smooth.
Okay, and then same thing over here. You can see the difference in just using the trowel and adding a little bit of water. So once again, grab a little bit of water. Don't go too far. You don't put too much. Maybe about four feet right there. Work it back and forth. I'm gonna stop right here. Bring my bucket again. Give it a little bit of water. Now, these radiuses are the most important, so I'll show you a little bit more detail than these longer swoops. So, as you can see, you got some that got piled on here what i type, like to do before i go with the water is i'll tamp it as i start forming it so i can get a better shape you can see how it's removing some off the side there we go so now i'll come back add some water and continue on the process There you go. And just finish this up and show you the end result. Alright guys, that is how we install um, the concrete mold strip. Um, the mold strip is meant to either hold something in or keep things out, such as you know separating the rock from grass, etc. Um, in this case, we're going to be making a little pathway, so we will be putting DG in the middle. I have to run to Lowe's and go get another bag of Portland because we did not finish. Um, and we're running a little short. We only picked up two bags. Um, we probably are going to need like a quarter of another bag, but got to get it done. Got to get this job wrapped up, or at least the most trip wrapped up today. So that way we can put the... Uh, DG on Wednesday. So I'll see you guys. Thank you guys for everyone that has subscribed. If you haven't, please consider to do so. I'm going to keep trying to make more how-to videos and uh, job uh, vlogs. So I'll see you guys. Have a good one.